meeting of the front of Tolworth Hurdle. Makes the running, but upgrade going with him on the outside. The trip is two miles. Come down towards the first of eight flights of hurdles, and these two were setting quite a sound pace. And it's upgrade that just takes the initiative here to Grey Shot. Now, how does Grey Shot jump for speed? Satisfactorily, they take the first safely. Sitting in third place is Bloody Marvel. The dark jacket, the inside French Holly. The one with the nose band is Chambron. That's in the red and yellow colours. Polar Prince behind that, and then Country Bow as they take the second flight of hurdles, where Bracey Run, the stringer in the market, was just the back marker, and that's giving them all about eight lengths start. Upgrade on the outside has the edge here. Upgrade, uh, very much a surprise package last time, but he's doing it well. Leads a class field. Grey shot using this giant stride in second. French Holly sits in third, and then Buddy Marvel and Chabro followed by Country Bow, and with that one is uh, Polar Prospect, and behind Polar Prospect is Bracey Run. So they continue the run and swing right-handed down into the back straight, and it's Upgrade, who's the Pacemaker here, he has the edge. Grey shot the inside, they sit one and two, French Holly third. Buddy Marvel racing four, Country Burr, Grand Tiber Horse in five. Polar Prospect follows that one in the gap of uh, two or three lengths and opened up to Chabrol, who's already getting reminders. And Bracey run at the back of the pack. And this uh, Grey shot keenly into the turn with a mile and a quarter to run, has about a neck lead over upgrade in second. The gap is about four lengths then to French Holly and then Buddy Marvel is uh, whizzing round the turn, the youngster. Followed by Polar Prospect and then Country Bow and they're leaving the other two behind Bracey Run. And um, well out of it, Shabrol, as they line up down the back straight and it's Upgrade who really jumped it well. But at speed, equally as aggressive was a Grey Shot, just the leader from this camera angle. Head down towards flight number four. Grey Shot has it, Grey Shot leads, comes into it, takes it well. Upgrade in second but stalking now French Holly. And also coming with a run in the pale jacket is Buddy Marvel under Paul Carberry as they take the next. And don't rule out uh, Country Bow by any manner of means. He's getting significantly closer now. And Polar Prospect is coming with a run as well. They've got three quarters of a mile to go in the Tolworth. And it's still a Grey Shot who powers into the lead. Grey Shot has it. Here comes Buddy Marvel with a pale sleeve jacket. Go to the last on the far side. French Holly is sitting here, the double handful, Andrew Thornton in behind them. He's going to press the pedal soon. Now Country Bow, Tony McCoy, roused that one along. Upgrade and Polar Prospect get closer now. But as they begin the turn out of the back straight, it's the grey, grey shot. Pressed now by French Holly, whose stamina is surely at 40. Back into third place is Polar Prospect now as they start the turn in. So it's going to be Cat and Mouse, and who's got the bigger engine, who's got the better heart? as they turn for home. It's Grey Shot and French Holly. They sit one and two. Polar Prospect, Glenn Tormey has them in his sights. Country Bow running a grand race. They come down on this pole straight and make the last turn in now. And on the outside, French Holly, Andrew Thornton is coming to make a big race of it with Grey Shot. And these two power performers are eight lengths clear of Polar Prospect. They've still got two more flights of hurdles to jump. And it's Grey Shot taken on by French Holly. How do they take the second last? French Holly. Doesn't jump as fluently, possibly as Grey shot the far side, but he's certainly got stamina on his side now. And French Holly into the lead. Grey shot has made it look very ordinary indeed. There's still 12 clear of Polar Prospect. The final flight looming large now. And French Holly takes it uh, well to Grey shot in second there. A long, long way clear of Polar Prospect. And it's French Holly kicked on up the hill. He's going four, five, six, seven clear. A grand stamp of horse is French Holly. He's come down from the north to take the king uh, of the punters, the sun king of the punters, Tolworth Hurdle. It's all French Holly this. And it's French Holly who wins it most impressively. Grey shot woefully one pace in second. It's going to be tight for third. And Bracey Run runs up the hill to take third in front of Polar Prospect. He's clear of upgrade and Country Bow firmly in his place in front of Chabrol. And so as they went past the post, the result is a win for number four, French Holly, at four to one. The colours of Mr. K. Flood trained at Leyburn by Ferdy Murphy and Andy Thornton. Very much the man of the season, his 47th of the, of the campaign. And a great performance on this survivor horse with a great, powerful individual and a worthy champion hurdle contender, although in time, probably even further for this seven-year-old. Second horse home was number five, Grey Shot. Couldn't live with his power machine. Third, number one, Bracey Run, who stayed on stoutly up the hill for third place.
Well, French Holly's jumping over the last three hurdle, three flights, wasn't by any means flawless. He, he lands on all four legs here, but he still lands running. As you can see, he just just landed a little bit on a bit too too far behind the action, but his momentum never checks, and he quickens away and makes the favourite look a bit slow. Yeah, he galloped on with tremendous power up the hill, though, and uh, uh, Grey Shot's beaten the rest handsomely, let's not forget that, but this horse, uh, as we said earlier, a uh, great big stamp, more of a chaser on looks, really, than a hurdler, despite his pedigree. Really strong up the hill, fine performance. If anyone this morning had offered you four to one against French Holly, you would have bitten the hands off to get it. Three to one was the top price in the offices this morning. Open five to two on the course. Returns the incredible price now. It's won the four to one clear second favourite and beats Grey Shot, who was closed down right at the death to seven to four favourite with Bracy Run back solidly each way from 25 to one into 107. 14 to one Bracy Run rewarding each way supporters. But Jimbo, I have to ask you. You this morning thought terrific price nine to four Grey Shot. If only I'd been a bookmaker, Jimbo, I could have accommodated you maybe even you would have had a 900 pound to four with me if only i could have laid him i was keen on laying the horse but of course being an honest